Hey guys, Sunday morning or afternoon, it's about 12, 12.30. Just got to the gym and I'm going to do my cardio today. F feeling really good doing the uh, high intensity steady state. It's about 30 minutes, 25 minutes of keeping my heart rate between about 150 and 160. I've been struggling with getting my heart rate that high, but I'm definitely going to work on it today. So that's pretty much it. Feeling real good today. Looking forward to working hard this week and... I don't know, just feeling good. I'm going back to school on Wednesday, so should be uh, enjoyable last few days home and then starting off this semester, my last semester at Fairfield. Sipping on some of that Powerade Zero for cardio. Just chilling, about to walk into the gym. Check out my car from driving in the snow. God. Shit looks awful. Gonna have to clean it up before I head back to school. Working on that cardio bunny game in the movie room at the gym. Spider Man. But I got something better to watch. Brandon Campbell. Much better than Spider Man. Check out this beautiful January weather. I haven't had weather like this in weeks. Looks like the sun's just about to go away. It's nice to have the sun come out. It's been so dreary here lately between snow and rain for the last few weeks. So it's a little promising for spring coming even though still got a while till then. Had a real good cardio session. Did uh, I actually ran, you guys probably saw. I ran for the first time in God knows how long, like steady state running. I think it was just about six to six and a half miles per hour for about a half hour. I think Tyler said to do 25 minutes or so, but I did like between 25 and 30. And uh, kept my heart rate finally up above 150 the whole time. To get it there, I did some, sprinted a little bit at like 10 or 11 miles per hour and then dropped it down and maintained that for 25 minutes or so Felt really good and then my hip flexors started to feel really tight from running because like I said, I never do it and uh, So I did some foam rolling on my hip flexors and just really focused on loosening and len lengthening them So yeah, felt good gonna probably do that again next week till I get bored with it and then find something else to do for my cardio What are you doing there mom? Making chili that turkey chili. Turkey bread. And I'm gonna shaved. How do I look? I'm gonna make some cauliflower pizza dough. I've never tried it before, but I've always wanted to because I always see I've always seen people like post about it and I've never actually done it, but I looked up a recipe and it doesn't look too hard. You just kinda grind up the the raw cauliflower into in a food processor. So it's really like uh, fine I guess and then you put it in a microwave in the microwave and cook it a little bit and then you squeeze out all the water and then just add like egg and spices and stuff so we'll see how it goes just broke it apart and put it in the food processor and put it in the microwave for eight minutes gonna wait for it to cool and then put it in a towel and try and wring it out All right, squeezed it all out, and that's what's left. It's kind of like pulpy or something. It's pretty, like it should be, it's dry, and uh, there's not much left to it. A lot of it was water, I guess. Tried to get as much as I could off of this, but still left a little bit, but it should be good, because I already weighed the cauliflower, so I didn't want to end up losing a lot of it, because the macros would be off. So, gonna add cheese, cheese and spices here. I mixed uh, regular mozzarella, fat-free, and 
gonna mix that in there and then throw an egg in it we'll see if one egg does the job and then uh, I don't know what's next I think you just bake it after that alright so after mixing everything <clears throat> after mixing everything together the total of everything came to 398 grams so about 400 grams so instead of making pizzas because there's cheese and stuff in it I figured I'd make like breadsticks and dip it into marinara sauce if I want so since like I said it was 400 grams I split it up into 10 individual like balls of dough so I can form them into like breadsticks or whatever and they're 40 grams each so one serving is one tenth of the whole recipe which is a lot easier than having to weigh it after it's all cooked so I'm gonna cook them on a pizza stone throw some put them on parchment paper and we'll see what they look like Hot. All right, got them in there. Almost burned my hand. I don't even know how long. I got it at 350. I don't even know how long they're supposed to uh, bake for because the recipe I'm following is like ridiculous and doesn't have any quantities of anything or times or temperatures. So just kind of trying to figure it out as I go. Oh yeah, they're not breadsticks. They're bread balls. Alright, here's what they look like. Having some more burgers for dinner. My dad went to Trader Joe's and got 96.4 beef. So we're gonna have some burgers for dinner, two nights in a row. In before beef makes, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna try one of these though, you wanna try one? What are we doing with them? Put them in anything or no? Mm-mm. Plain? Yeah. In them. Cauliflower and cheese. Damn, I really like them. They were kind of a pain to make. That's yeah, good. They probably could have been cooked a little longer, right? A little uh, soft in the no, middle. I don't think so. good. In one of them, here I'll show you guys what the macros are. All right, so for one of them. It came to 43 calories, I don't know if that's right, 1.2 fat, 4.3 carbs, 4.8 protein, so pretty low in everything. If you have a few of them, it's less than like 20 carbs, so pretty good. I don't know if it's worth all that effort, though, to mix up the cauliflower and squeeze it all out, but pretty good. Burgers two nights in a row. I wasn't going to put it on that white bread, but I figured no one else in the house is going to eat it, so I may as well use it. Got two burgers, obviously, with cheese, regular Sargento sharp cheddar, and 15 grams of barbecue sauce, sweet baby rays, of course, and 15 grams of ketchup, so going to be real good. A little different from last night. These were cooked on the grill instead of on the pan with onions. Hey guys, Monday, sorry. It's Monday and I'm just getting ready to, like start getting ready to go to the gym. I'm gonna get my workout together on Google Drive like I do every day. Just uh, writing in all the numbers that I'm supposed to be hitting today. And last week was uh, cycle 11 week three for me. So this week would technically be cycle 11 week four, which would be a deload for 531. But I'm actually gonna just get right into cycle 12 because I feel like I don't need the deload right now. I reset my training maxes as you guys may know uh, before cycle 11 so the weight I've been using hasn't been really that heavy for me and I've been getting a pretty good amount of reps but I really don't feel I need the deload so I'm just going to go right into cycle 12. So I'm sure I'll get some training footage from today. It's going to be an overhead press day. So I'll see you guys in the gym. Hey guys, just figured I'd do a quick voiceover over this clip. Here was uh, my upper body work from today. And uh, 
did pretty well on that. These are my first two. I filmed all, all three of my work sets. So the third set will be my five plus set. I actually only hit five reps because I think it was something with my breathing and I was going for that sixth rep and my back started rounding a lot so it just wasn't worth it. So I called it after that fifth rep and I did my dynamic effort work after that and it felt really good. So like I said, this whole workout felt really good and can't wait to get in the gym tomorrow and squat. Also, just so you guys know, we just hit that 5,000 subscriber mark tonight, which is awesome. Me and Frank have been working really hard to get there, and we really can't w wait to see the channel grow even more. And we also made that Facebook fan page. If you guys have, if you guys are on Facebook, we'd really appreciate it if you went to that page and liked it. We'll hopefully be holding some challenges or something like that, and uh, have you guys post your response videos on the fa Facebook fan page. So you don't have to do it through YouTube, you can also just do it through Facebook. But it'll also be a way to really grow the community as a whole and kind of work on different social media platforms instead of just YouTube. So I think that would be pretty awesome to kind of really build up the channel as more of a community instead of just information and vlogs that Frank and I put out but really get your guys' feedback and your guys' input into fitness and nutrition and just motivation and everything in general because that's really what this channel is all about. And also as you guys can probably tell I've been playing around with the uh, color filters that my editing software offers. I don't really know if I like them. It's kind of like Instagram filters but in a weird way. So I just figured I'd play around with it for these few clips for my training clips today and I guess it looks pretty cool but I don't know I usually just stick with the raw footage and leave it like that so hope you guys are enjoying this video and there's a few minutes or a little bit left but I'll leave you guys on that note and if you aren't subscribed we'd appreciate it if you did don't forget to like and comment as always and if you're not a part of that Facebook fan page we'd appreciate it if you at least looked into it and contributed a little bit. So we'll see you in the next video.